EAU is a big Congress, and uh, um, we should start thinking a little different. It means uh, during this Congress, during such a big Congresses, we have several generations of urologists. And I, I will tell you that this type of Congress is, is actually a new initiative. It's nothing like 250 years old. They started those Congresses probably 25, 30 years ago. And we'll understand that back in 1991, there was 120, 150 people, members of the European Association of Urology. Now this is like 15,000 people. So basically, first of all, it's not only learning, it's to be surrounded by friends, by colleagues, and of course there's a huge uh, uh, views exchange uh, during these congresses. So basically, it, 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 has to, it, it's, it should not be simplified, uh, saying uh, w what's the benefit for uh, for someone of those congresses. Uh, potentially, uh, we should be selective and we try to uh, raise our younger generations to appreciate, first of all, uh, getting together uh, uh, initiatives, getting together time, which is, of course, very, very important on a professional level. great question uh, because remember about newspapers do we need newspapers uh, do we need journals do we need paper editions uh, the answer is very simple yes we do need it uh, do we need congresses the answer is yes the main goal in Europe achieved uh, is uh, we, we try to unite uh, European urology. And European urology uh, probably uh, became homogeneous in a, in a, in a good mean. Uh, and it's a, it's a huge task. And, and this task was actually uh, uh, fulfilled uh, uh, very effectively uh, through those congresses also. So I do believe that there is strong need uh, you know, of, of a, a European meetings, of course. We're talking about EAU congresses. And uh, attracting 15,000 people and this exhibition and everything getting together. Let, let's say if, uh, if uh, you raise a young guy in a department, and we have a lot of residents in our department. Uh, first of all, they, they need to uh, to learn how to speak English. Uh, that's one achievement. Second achievement, they need to learn how to present papers, how to participate in discussions. So, a medical profession is a quality profession. It means Medical Profession United, uh, by leading minds, it's how it should be. So I do believe that uh, uh, this homogeneous uh, uh, task to be to be equally effective in Europe is actually partially achieved by those congresses. Uh, impossible to answer this question in, let's say, this particular uh, uh, achievement uh, in uh, in technology or any uh, study uh, performed uh, changed uh, our profession dramatically. Uh, I would say that there are some uh, highlights of uh, every Congress and in this Congress, for example, quality of life issues. They are raised in a totally different manner, it, it becoming very important because we're facing urological patients uh, differently nowadays. Second thing, uh, of course, uh, robotic surgery. Robotic surgery dramatically changed urology. 
And finally, uh, molecular biology, <clears throat> immune therapy, uh, which we believe will be probably the main uh, target of therapy in oncology uh, pretty soon. So there are a wide variety of uh, uprising new coming you know, technologies, uh, uh, molecular technologies, uh, which probably some sort of uh, uh, in between urology and basic science. So uh, many departments nowadays in Europe are dedicated to basic science because modern urology cannot be uh, separated from a basic scientist. So that, that would be the main thing, not maybe during this Congress, but during past past six, six seven years. I, I do believe that if you guys post uh, uh, yeah, on the web and you actually uh, try to cover uh, not only European urologists, but probably urologists worldwide, I do believe that for many, many Eastern countries, uh, in Japan, um, coast, uh, maybe even for uh, South American countries, um, th those are very important. So if they may have unbiased uh, uh, personal use or unbiased data directly from the Congress, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. On reading European Medical Journal, uh, you know, uh, it depends. It depends what kind of journal you guys gonna gonna produce. It could be everyday thing for every doctor. That, that's what we need probably. We need like simple ad, simple, uh, simple um, uh, source of information. For example, for every day, could be the case. Or we need unbiased coverage of every Congress. You know, we nowadays we have like two congresses per week probably in urology worldwide. So it's a stream of congresses on the different languages. So if you may cover them unbiased, that would be that would be fantastic tool for all of us. Um, you know what? Nowadays you may compare them. Uh, I'll be the last person to say they was the same. They were different. But again, if you're selective, if you're not a traveler, and you're not traveling just to travel, if you're participating, and if you enjoy this, uh, uh, taking part of these congresses, so you may be selective and you may go one, two, three times a year to several places, different places, and learn a lot. You know what, uh, not recently, it used to be the case, not recently. Uh, because of you guys, because we prepared, because we learning uh, about many things beforehand, means we are prepared. Uh, plus, again, we should we should make it very clear: it, to go to the Congress, to participate in the Congress, it doesn't mean that you shouldn't read medical journals. Because some people, some younger generation, will say, "Look." I don't need to read this because I will learn this during the Congress, which is a wrong, wrong way. So basically, if you and you being medical doctor, unfortunately or unfortunately, you should read every day. So reading every day, learning things, you basically prepare yourself for the Congress. You prepare yourself for publication. You prepare yourself for, let's say, uh, communication with your colleagues, and you develop yourself. The, you know, the main change, the Congresses became bigger. That's it. it that's nothing like they changed. They, it, you know what? It's probably impossible for them to change. Because if you're talking about 15,000 people, it's difficult to, uh, let's say, uh, adapt something new. If you adapt something new, it, it it's time consuming to prepare it as a package for for doctors, for consumers, who are consumers. 
Okay. So basically, I do believe that the, those congresses uh, uh, will be uh, stay will be uh, and stay in a great demand among uh, several generations of uh, of doctors, younger and uh, more more experienced.